escorting me. Is there something else I can do for you? Ah, I imagine you don't leave very often, do you? I am not a good source of news, I fear. I am preoccupied with the Darkspawn incursion. When the King sent out the call, the Circle of Ferelden sent only seven mages to Ostagar. I asked King Caelan's permission to come and seek a greater commitment from the Circle. The King must remain with the army. He is quite busy, after all. I hope to place a mage or two within every contingent. I cannot do with just seven. Mages will make all the difference in this battle. The Darkspawn have their own magic, and our resources must exceed theirs. I don't know. Do you? Then perhaps I shall speak to Irving about this later. Darkspawn are a greater threat than blood mages, even abominations. It takes decades for the world to recover from a blight. I wish the Chantry could see that. We must stop at nothing to defeat the Darkspawn. <laughs> ah, listen to me. An old man's rantings can't be very interesting. <laughs> you are too kind. Certainly. I am intimately familiar with these subjects, after all. It is not my place to comment. Gregor serves the Chantry, and the relationship between the Chantry and Mages has always been strained. You've realized by now that the Chantry merely tolerates magic? They watch only because they feel they must. Any mages who join the King's army can unleash their full power on the Darkspawn. In fact, I'm counting on it. Gregor may be afraid of what will happen. What if the mages decide they no longer want to be governed by the Chantry? I believe we must defeat the Darkspawn, one way or another. My opinions end there. A horde has formed within the Korkari Wilds in the south. If they are not stopped, they will strike north into the valley. We Grey Wardens believe that an Archdemon is leading the horde. Darkspawn do attack the surface in ragtag bands, but Archdemons are capable of rallying the Darkspawn, turning them into an unstoppable force. A horde of Darkspawn, a veritable army. It is dire news indeed. I fear this is what we will have to face. They usually move around in small groups, but there are always more of them. Lurking underground, biding their time. Yes, perhaps it will be enough if we play our cards right. We can't seem to eradicate them completely. Somehow they always come back. Of course, don't let me keep you. 